Speaking of not getting enough sleep, let's hop to creatine because I, God, I don't know where I read this, but that higher doses of creatine, maybe like 25 grams, 20, 25 grams could combat sleep loss or some of the effects of sleep loss. What should we know about creatine, right? Creatine has been around for a long time. There are dozens of questionable sports performance, athletic performance products come out every year. Most of them are all marketing, no substance. Creatine has been used by athletes for a very long time. But for at least the last five years, I have been taking it typically five grams a day, more for the cognitive or potential cognitive benefits. Right? But what, what else should we know about creatine? Because you, what you put in your newsletter not too long ago was forwarded to me. And then you told me via text. I was like, okay, we should probably talk about this. Yes. So how should we think about creatine and best practices for different applications? Well, it's funny. As you mentioned, it's one of those supplements that have been, it was like in the gym bro world forever. And still people associate it with that. 